I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Move Love, and today I am here with five bicep exercises that we are going to string together in a 20-minute bicep workout. We're going to go for a quick warm-up and cool down on the back end, and then they're going to do each exercise for 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. Move five is a burnout exercise, which you're only going to do for 20 seconds, okay? So I'll walk you through the workout. All you need is a set of dumbbells. I have a couple sets from 15 pounds down to 10 pounds so I can drop weights as needed if my biceps start to fatigue. All right, this is split training focusing on just one muscle group and today is all about the bicep, okay? We're gonna get started with just a brief warm up and then we're gonna jump into our five exercises. So for our warm up, go ahead, feet are stacked underneath your hips and you're just gonna give me your right arm. Fingertips are gonna face you and you're just gonna pull down just like this. Roll that shoulder down and back and then just go ahead. We're just gonna stretch our forearms because we're gonna be holding onto dumbbells for quite some time. So we're gonna be challenging our forearm and our grip. We're just gonna give a nice stretch to that arm. Nice, awesome job. From here, you're gonna gently release, flap your wings. Nice, right here, opening up the chest, the shoulders, and then go ahead and do that same thing on the other arm. So palms gonna face out away from the body, fingertips pull back towards the body. Nice little stretch for the wrist and for the forearms. Nice work, just stretching it out right here. Awesome. Roll that shoulder down and back. Nice little reminder to keep those shoulders out of the ears throughout this workout. You're gonna hold for three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and flap those wings again. Awesome, I'm gonna go to the side just so you can see me. For that gentle reminder to keep those shoulders out of the ears, let's go ahead and reach those arms out. Now you're gonna roll the shoulders up towards the ears and pull them down and back. Nice, let's do it again. Pull them up towards the ears and then roll down and back. Give me two more just like it. Roll up, down and back. Nice, up, down and back. We wanna keep a nice long neck throughout this workout the entire time, don't we? Let's go ahead, reach hands up overhead, give a nice side body stretch too. Open up the side, bring it back to center, other side. Nice work, awesome job. From here, you're gonna forward fold. Fingertips go to the toes, drop down to the bottom of a squat. And we're gonna go for some spinal rotation. So right hand on the ground, left arm reaches for the ceiling, gaze follows fingertips. Just a nice spinal rotation. We're gonna be using our core a lot today to stabilize us. Go ahead, switch it out, other side. Nice work, awesome job. Nice, from here can you reach both hands up, overhead, stand up tall. Now give me a forward fold. We're gonna do the same spinal rotation, standing. So spinal rotation. Nice, and spinal rotation. Awesome job. From here, go ahead, stand up nice and tall, flap your wings again. Nice, we're gonna do one more core engaging. So you're gonna hinge over, walk yourself out to a high plank. From here, go ahead, lower all the way down to the belly. Take the hands behind, the ch uh, behind by your tailbone, interlace the fingers, and then give a nice chest expansion. Pulling your chest and shoulders up off the mat, just opening up. Creating length through those arms and biceps too. It's a nice little stretch, awesome. Replant the hands, tuck the toes, push up. Walk the hands back in. Stand up tall. Let's do that one more time because it feels good. Walk out to that high plank. Nice, lower the belly down to the ground. Go ahead, interlace the fingers behind the back. Take a nice chest expansion. Awesome job. Gently release, plant and push. Walk it back up to that high plank position. Clear a little piece of dirt off my mat. All right, you guys, we're gonna get started. Are you ready to do this bicep workout? I'm gonna show you your first move. It's a good old supine curl. Standard curl, palms are gonna face out away from the body, shoulders go down and back, elbows are off the body, and I'm just curling right here. Curling the dumbbells up to shoulder height. You're gonna do that for 40 seconds of work, 20 second transition between exercises. I'm gonna start with my 15s, try and go heavy. I might need to drop weights as we go, but let's get it started. 40 seconds, dumbbell curls, standing. Nice soft bend in the knees. Shoulders are down and back, elbows are off the body. You're curling in three, two, let's curl, here we go. So I'm just pulling those dumbbells right up to shoulder height, big exhale, inhale, slow control down. So I'm focusing on that eccentric motion, which is the way down actually. It's where the muscle building happens in the bicep curl, that slow control down. Exhale, curl up. Inhale down. We want to avoid any swinging, right? We're not here to swing. We're here to control those dumbbells on the way up and on the way down. Soft bend in the knees. I like to think about spreading that floor apart underneath me. Helps activate my core. Keep it nice and stable so I can curl these dumbbells up. You got it. Come on. Stay in it. Nice, slow, controlled bicep curls. You're in it for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead. Set the dumbbells down. Roll at the wrist, 20 second break. We're gonna go into a hammer curl. So palms are gonna face in. You're gonna go single, single, double. So I curl right, curl left, and then a double curl. Go ahead, pick up your dumbbells. Hammer curls, palms face in. Curl right, curl left, then a double curl. You're there in three, two. Let's go, curl right, 
curl left. Now give me the double curl. Double hammer curl. Nice. So because you're not going both arms the same time, the whole time, maybe you can go a little bit heavier than you normally would. One, two, now give me the double. Nice. There you go. You can always stick with the single alternating curls, but I like the, the combination of the two. Single, single, double. Nice work. Single, single. Give me the double curl right there. Whew, big exhale. Same thing. Controlling the weights on the way up and controlling them on the way down. Personally, find I can maybe go a little heavier on hammer curls than I can with supine curls. Palms in. Nice. Awesome job. Finish it. Let's go. You got three, two, one more hammer curl. There it is. Nice work. Okay, now we're going to go into cross body curls. So palms are actually going to stay facing in. And think of gliding the dumbbell up and across your body. So I'm pulling up, across. Nice, nice concentration curl. So I'm going to pull up to this shoulder and then bring it over to this shoulder. We're going to start on the right arm in three, two, one. So the palm slides along the body. Nice. Again, we're alternating one arm at a time. So maybe you can go a little heavier than you normally do. Nice alternating cross body concentration curl. Shoulder to shoulder. Think about drawing like a half circle against your body. There it is. Nice. Half concentration curls. Nice. Nice, nice and tight to the body, controlling up and controlling down. Bicep is a two-headed muscle. We're just going to hit both heads from different angles by changing that grip, okay? So we went palms out, then we went palms facing each other, and now palm faces the body. Just slightly different angles to work that bicep. Awesome job. You're in it for three, two. Give me one more. Awesome, nice work. Moving on to move number four. I'm going to shake out that grip. You're going to hold the, bi or hold the biceps halfway engaged here, and it's an alternating half drop. So all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, halfway up, alternating arms, right and left. Grab those dumbbells, holding halfway. Woo! You're on in three, two, let's go. All the way down, halfway up, all the way down, halfway up. So there's constant tension on those biceps, right? You got to hold them halfway. Ooh, you're going to feel this one. This is where I'm like, oh, maybe I got to drop to lighter weights because this, this is going to challenge me. My biceps are starting to get tired, right? But you got this move and then one more. So there's no 20-second break after this move. We're going to go right into a 20-second burnout that is really going to challenge me. I'm probably going to have to close my eyes, squint through it, keep breathing. You got it. Come on, right here. Half curls all the way down, halfway up. 10 seconds, and then you're going to hold halfway. You're going to keep that isometric bicep hold halfway. It's just 20 seconds. You're there in three, two. Hold it here. Tiny pulses, 20 seconds. Yes, you can. Hold those arms halfway. Get those elbows off that body. Ooh, it burns, I know. Closing those eyes. Yes, you can. You got 10. 10 more seconds. Come on, stay in it. Right here. Woo, nice long neck. You got five, four, three, two, one, and that is where we feel the fire, you guys. Woo, shake it out. Shake out those arms. This should feel really good. Flap those wings. Woo, starting to feel those biceps, right? Let's grab a sip of water, quick break, transition, and we're going to repeat those five moves. Same thing. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Same moves, and then we're going to go into that same move number five. Is that tiny pulse. I might need to drop down to my 12 pounds this time. Try and stay with my 15s for the other moves, but I might need to drop to 12s. All right, you guys ready to do this? We're gonna go dumbbell, st standard dumbbell curls, palms face out. At the same time, if you can, shoulders down and back. Let's go, you're on in three, two, let's go. And try and stick with these 15 pounds. Whoo, it's gonna feel a little bit heavier the second time, right? That first set, you're like, that was easy, I got this. Second set, you're gonna be like, whoo, starting to feel it now. Third set's gonna be just real fire. Keep that core tight. Think about spreading that floor apart underneath you. Activate the quads, activate the core, soft bend in the knees. Whew. Exhale as I pull those dumbbells up towards the shoulders. Nice work. Controlling it. Slow and controlled on the way down. Exhale up. Slow and control down. Nice. You got this. Awesome job. Stay in it. You got 10 seconds here. Yes, you can. Nice work. Big exhale up. Come on. Finish it. Let's go. Five, four, three, two. Give me one more. Nice work. Dumbbells down. Shake it out. Whew. All right. You know the move. Second time through. Do it better. First time you did it, second time, do it better. Third time's the best, right? Hammer curls, palms are gonna face in. Curl right, curl left, give me the double curl. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Woo! Let's do it, grab those dumbbells. You're there in three, two, let's go. Hammer curl right, hammer curl left. Now give me the double curl right here. Double curl, there it is, nice. We go right, we go left, we go double curl. Awesome job. One rep at a time, you guys, knocking this out. One rep at a time. You're doing so good. So good. So strong. 
Nice, there it is. Awesome. Double curl. Single, single, double, controlling them up and down. Love a good hammer curl. It's my favorite of all the bicep curls. Nice work, soften the knees, 10 seconds, you got this. Stay in it, stay in it. Keep breathing through each rep, five, four, three, two, let's go for that double curl, nice. Dumbbells go down, alternating cross body curls, that slight switch of the palms, palms go in, alternate right here. Woo. Biceps are starting to get nice and pumped up now, aren't they? Okay, let's go, cross body curls, palms face in, I'm gonna stick with these 15s for one more set here. Okay, you're on in three, we'll go right arm in two, and one, right arm up and over. Nice, shoulder to shoulder, drawing that half circle across your body. Nice, right there. Palm faces the body, keep those dumbbells nice and tight. Awesome job. Nice work, you guys. One at a time, you are doing it. Stay in it, stay in it. If you start to feel that grip fatigue, just slightly loosen that grip. You don't have to be white knuckling the dumbbell the entire time. I know that's our focus because we just wanna give it that max effort. You got it, 10 more seconds here. Stay with it, you're doing so good, you guys, so good. Come on, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, I'm gonna trade out for some 12 pounds, okay? We're gonna hold that half curl, but this time you're gonna go all the way up, halfway down, all the way up, halfway down. That's where we're gonna go. So I'm gonna start with the half hold, all the way up, halfway down, and then we go right into our burnout, which is just those pulses. Grab those dumbbells, you're there. In three, two, let's go. This time it's all the way up, halfway down. All the way up, halfway down. You got it, keep that core nice and tight. Stop bending those knees, awesome job. All the way up, halfway down. If you wanna make this harder, you could do both arms. All the way up, halfway down. All the way up, halfway down. Woo, I'm gonna go back to alternating, okay? Go right and left, keeping constant tension on those biceps because you gotta hold them halfway. From here we go right into that burnout. You're gonna keep that half hold and you're just gonna pulse it. Tiny pulses, you're there in 10 seconds. Yes, you can, stay with it. Whoo, it burns, I know. You are so stinking strong. You got this, you got this. Come on, five, four, three, two, hold it. Halfway pulse them up, it's 20 seconds. Yes, you can. Come on, stay in it. Roll those shoulders away from those ears. You got this, you got this. Whoo, stay with me. Come on, tiny pulses, give me 10. Nine, eight, you got this, seven, you are so stinking strong. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Dumbbells down, whoo, the fire is building. That is for sure, you guys. Two sets down, one more to go. Grab a sip of water. You are on your final set number three, okay? Set number three, let's do it, you guys. Three sets. I love getting three sets in, okay? Choose five exercises. Get through them three times. That's a solid strength training routine. Okay, we're gonna start with those supine curls again. I'm gonna try and go back to my 15s if I can for this final set. For those supine curls, 15s, and then the hammer curls, then the cross bodies. It's gonna challenge me. Set number three, if you gotta adjust and drop down, you absolutely can, okay? We're gonna try and start heavy and finish it off. Set number three, you guys, final time. Last time you're gonna do each of these five exercises. Give me your best, let's finish it. Let's finish it right here, grab your dumbbells. Palms go out, shoulders down and back. Let's curl in three, two, here we go, here we go. All the way up, all the way down. Here we go, right here. All the way up, all the way down, 40 seconds. Come on, last time you're gonna do this move. Third and final set is the best set yet, yes? Third and final set, it's the best one. Big exhale, pulls those dumbbells up, inhale down. Exhale, pull them up, inhale down. Nice work, you guys, so good. This is gonna complete the series of the single upper body muscle groups that we have on the blog. We have a tricep workout, a shoulder workout, a chest workout, a back workout, and now we have a bicep workout. 10 seconds, you got this. Finish it right here. Nice work, dumbbells down in five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, set them down, roll at the wrist, shake out that forearm, back to hammer curls. Single, single, double, single, single, double. Nice work, you guys, you are doing so good. My biceps are getting nice and fiery. It reminds me of when I tell my kids, show me your muscles, right? Feeling so strong. Here we go, you're on in three, two, let's go. Curl right, curl left. Now give me the double curl, double curl, there you go. Single, single, double. It's right, it's left, and give me that double curl. Five of my favorite bicep exercises right here in one quick and effective 20 minute 
at home strength workout you can do using just a set of dumbbells. Nice work, you guys. We have upper body workouts, lower body workouts, muscle specific, or full body compound movements. Nice. I suggest a variety in your training routine. That's why we create our free workout plans. Give you that variety. We take the guesswork out for you. You got five seconds here. Finish it. Let's go. You're in it for three, two, and one more. Nice. Dumbbells down. Woo. Palms go in. Slight switch of the wrist. Half circles across the body. Shoulder to shoulder. Think about hitting this shoulder, then this shoulder. Okay? Let's finish it right here, you guys. Come on. Third time through. Third time through. Woo. That grip starting to fatigue. Pick up those dumbbells. Palms face the body. Let's go right arm in three. Two, here we go, up and over, draw that half circle. Nice concentration curl. I like going alternating one at a time. It allows me to go a little bit heavier than I normally would with like the double arm curl. So if you wanna try and increase your weights, I suggest focusing on one side of the body at a time. Great way to increase the weights and go for that progressive overload, right? Progressive overload, overloading the muscle to the point of failure. <clears throat> awesome way to build muscle, strength gains, right? Nice work, you guys. So good. 10 seconds here. Come on, 10 seconds. Whew. You got it. You got it. Finish it. Right here. You got five, four, three, two. We're going to do one more to even it out on the other side. There it is. Nice work. I'm going to set these 15 pounds down. Go for my 12s again. We're going to do those half curls. We're going to start going all the way down, halfway up for 20 seconds, and then we're going to flip it. Okay, 20, 20 each way. I'll keep track of the time and I'll let you know when to switch. <clears throat> Holding your arms halfway. We'll start going all the way down, halfway up in three, two, let's go. Again, you can do both arms. I'm gonna alternate right arm and left arm. All the way down, halfway up. All the way down, halfway up. You got it right here. 20 seconds here, then we're gonna switch directions. Constant tension on those biceps, yes? Come on, come on. Five more seconds here, then switch directions in four, three, two, Let's switch directions all the way up, halfway down, all the way up, halfway down. You got it. This and pulses. This is it, you guys. This is it right here. Finish strong. Right here. All the way up, halfway down. Come on. Yes, you can. You're in it. You got five, four, three, two. Hold them halfway. Pulse them up. Pulse both arms. This is it. Final 20 seconds right here. Biceps on fire. Yes, you can. You got it. You got it. Stay in it. Stay with me. You got 10, 9, 8. Yes, you can. You are so stinking strong. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Dumbbells down. Woo! Roll out those wrists. Shake it out. That is a solid bicep routine. Let's go ahead and stretch it out. We're going to stretch out the wrist and the forearm. So take your right arm. And put your palm to me, and you're just going to gently pull back on those fingertips, creating length through that arm, the forearm, stretching it out. This should feel really, really good. Nice work, you guys. I hope you liked this isolated bicep workout. If you want to add on a little cardio, we have 10-minute cardio workouts, easy add-ons. Go ahead and put the fingertips down now and pull the fingertips towards your face. Just other, other direction, stretching through that wrist, right? A lot of tension on the wrist, the forearms. Nice. Go ahead, flap the wings. Awesome job. Same thing. Other side. Palm faces me. Go ahead, pull those fingertips back towards your face. This should feel nice for the wrist and for that forearm. You are gripping the weight for a long time. Awesome job. If you like this workout, you can check out our other, let's go fingers down, muscle-specific workouts. Like I said, we have chest, shoulders. Personally, my favorite is the chest workout, then the back workout, and then probably the shoulder workout. I like all those. Actually, I really like our push and pull workouts. Go ahead, flap your wings. We have a 30-minute push workout where you're hitting the chest, shoulder, triceps, and a pull workout where you hit the back and biceps. Those are some of my favorites. Nice. We're going to do that same thing, except you're going to go down this time, creating length along the arm, just like we did in the warm-up. Pull that shoulder down and back. Pull those fingertips away. This should feel good, opening up through that front side of the body. Nice. Same thing, other side. Go ahead, pull those fingertips back towards your body and up, creating length through that arm, the front of the arm, the bicep, the forearm. Awesome job, you guys. I hope you liked this bicep isolation workout. We're going to finish with a chest expansion because it's one of my favorite ways to finish. Take the knuckles behind the back, interlace them if you're capable. Pull the knuckles away from the tailbone as you lift your chin up towards the ceiling, opening up through the chest, creating length through the arms. Nice work. Hold it here for three, two, and one. Go ahead, flap your wings. If you want, you can go ahead and check out our upper body mobility routine if you want some more mobility and stretching to finish off this workout. Or if you want to add on a cardio workout or hit another upper body muscle group. You can find more workouts at Nourish Move Love or go ahead and hit subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much for working out with me today. I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you again really soon.